Welcome to another edition on our CSEC exam pass paper questions and solutions and this question was taken from May 2011 and this is question 4a the general topic that this type of question would come under is algebra and to be more specific it's an inequality question okay now if you're not too clear on your inequalities you could always check out our playlist on inequalities and it will give you a more in-depth uh, understanding of what is happening when working with inequalities okay so just feel free to check that out all right now here in 4a part 1 on the csec exam pass paper uh, 2011 we have here solve the inequality 5 minus 2x is less than 9 and this this question values two marks in the exam so here let's let's solve for the range of values because when solving an inequality we are solving for the range of values here we have 5 minus 2x is less than 9 now uh, really you you treat this as an equation okay um, as how you treat an equation rather by in thereby you're moving all the numbers to one side and you're leaving the variable on one side okay so here I am going to isolate X now I have a positive 5 being added 5 is being added to negative 2x so because the 5 is positive to move it I must do the opposite of addition which is subtraction so I need to subtract 5 from both sides so I have a 5 now I have to subtract 5 minus 2x and that is less than 9 and what I've just did over here I've introduced a negative 5 so what I do to one side of my inequality I must do to the other side of my inequality okay now I know that a positive 5 will cancel out with a negative 5 so I only have left here a negative 2x and that is less than and I have a 9 minus 5 will leave me with a positive 4. Now here we have a special situation. Remember now, here I have a negative 2x and which is less than positive 4. However, the 2 is the negative 2 is multiplying the x so I would have to divide through by negative 2 um, to solve for the range of values however when dividing or multiplying by a negative number we must always remember to switch the inequality sign around so for example I'm dividing through to solve for x since negative 2 is multiplying x I must say to solve I must divide both sides of my inequality by negative 2 so negative 2 will cancel out with negative 2 so I'm left with X here but because I divide through by a negative number the sign on my inequality now changes so I have to switch the sign in that direction so I have here now a negative 2 um, into a positive 4 I know that a negative divide by a positive will give me a negative and 4 divided by 2 obviously is 2 so the range of values that I have here for my answer is that X is less than negative 2 X is rather greater than my bad X is greater than negative 2 and and this would be the answer for my range of values now moving along quickly to part 2 here they are saying if X is an integer and what do we mean by integer this word here I'm just going to underline it in red integer means that we're speaking about negative and positive whole numbers so for example examples of integer would be like for example negative let me say examples of integers would be negative 3 for example negative 2 negative 1 0 and then we would have 1 2 3 so th these are examples of integers and we know that we are going down to negative infinity and we are going up to positive infinity okay so that's just a quick examples of what integers are now what they're asking us is that if X is an integer determine the smallest value of X that satisfies the inequality in a1 above meaning this part here part 1 this is question a part 1 so here this is what they're asking us about okay if X is an integer we are supposed to determine okay 
the smallest and here let me underline the smallest and it's in bold the smallest value that of x smallest value of x that satisfies the inequality now um quickly if you are not seeing this um we could always graph it on a number line to make it a bit more clear so to make it a bit more clearer to you i'm just going to pull up my number line to show you what i'm talking about okay well they didn't really ask us to draw a number line but to, but to just to make it a bit clearer i have decided to just pull up a number line to show you this solution set on it okay uh, i know that some persons could see it right off the bat to see the smallest value that x can take if x is greater than negative two but for the persons who may not be seeing it right away let, let's just make this a bit clearer by pulling up the number line okay and if you're in the exam and if you're in doubt you could always do the same now our boundary is negative 2 okay and x is taking all the values that are greater than negative 2 so let's say for example I could start at a negative 3 here okay so that's my negative 3 that would be negative 2 I would have a negative 1 then I would have my 0 positive 1 2 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And we can stop there, okay? And as I've said, if you're not sure about this or if you need a, lot, a bit more practice, you could always visit our playlist on inequalities. It has a lot of activities and worked examples there, okay? Now, really, the boundary is negative 2, okay? So let's establish that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a circle above negative 2 because that's my boundary here in the inequality. Now, if you notice, they have used the greater than sign. Now, since they have used the greater than sign, I must, since, since the greater than sign is used, I must leave my circle open, okay, to suggest that I, the x will never touch negative 2 or x will never take this value negative 2 that's what it means because x must be always greater than negative 2 okay now if x is greater than negative 2 well obviously I'm going to the right on my number line because to the right it suggests that I am taking all the values that are greater than so I'm moving to my right and I'm going to be moving to positive infinity because I don't have another boundary so I'm continue continuing in that direction to the right forever okay now basically this is the keyword if x is an integer determine the smallest value of x that satisfies the inequality now since x is greater than negative 2 then if x is an integer the next integer going to negative 2 in this direction in going approaching negative 2 negative 2 approaching negative 2 on my number line from the right hand side going to my left the integer that that is next to negative 2 would be negative 1 okay so when I move from negative 2 I would be at negative 1 so if x is if x is an integer, the smallest value that x could take obviously would be negative 1 because there is, there is not another integer between negative 2 and negative 1. Negative 1 is the closest integer to negative 2. So therefore, in answering the question, you could state now that in words, all right, um, the smallest integer that x can take, the smallest integer, that x can take is negative 1, okay? And that's your answer, okay? Okay, guys, bye-bye.